Hi everyone, again I'm going to sit in the sun just because it feels nice to do so. I hope you're all doing well. I had my first relaxation, breathing, meditation put together in a session, I guess you could call it, on Friday and it was really really great so thanks to everyone who came out. It was, uh, it was very cool to do my first um, meditation session, I guess you could say. It's not just a meditation, like it's, it's kind of, I don't know, like I said, just time to relax at the end of the week, so I'm going to be doing that every Friday, except for the Fridays when I'm out of town, obviously, but I'm going to try to do that as much as possible, so if you're interested and you live in Sudbury, Ontario, or if you're coming through Sudbury, you can definitely email me at justinestream at gmail.com. This week, I am using the Archangel Oracle Cards. From what I've heard from other spiritual teachers and astrologers for this week, it's going to be very, very emotional. I'm also going to draw one card from the uh, messages from your spirit guides. Just one extra additional message that will be for the whole week. Um, but anyways, this is supposed to be a very emotional week. It has lots to do with water, feeling lots of emotions. And like I mentioned in my last video, there's lots of things that are changing. It's February now, so woohoo February. Uh, we had two new moons in January, which is very, very rare and intense. So we're still kind of feeling that. Venus finally has went direct, so that's going to help us with our self-love and loving others more. And February is just known as the month of love. And not just because of the traditional... Valentine's Day and getting candy and all that, you know, there's a lot more meaning to it and especially with Venus going direct, it's a planet of love, so this is about taking care of yourself, finding time for you and when you do so, remember that you are really sending out love to everyone and everything in the universe and it's so hard for us to grasp that because for some reason we're just kind of conditioned to give out and give out and give out and exhaust ourselves and we feel like that is helping people, but really, you know, it's it's not. Because if you think about it, when you're giving to someone after you, your well is one dr run dry, I can't even speak that sentence. Um, but think about it, you know, if you're if you're giving and you just have nothing else to give, the quality of whatever it is you're giving someone, whether it's your time or your words, or if it's a physical thing to help them, the energy is not very high. The vibration is not very high. And that's not to say it won't help them at all, but you know, it would definitely help people a lot more if you came from a place where you were just taking better care of yourself because your whole vibration will be so much higher that everyone you encounter will be greatly affected just by your energy alone and just by your presence. Even people that you're walking by will be able to pick this up, right? So it really does go a long way, and I can't stress that message enough, and I need to listen to that more as well. I think we all do, but I think it's a really important message to get out there. So anyway, with that being said, Mercury is going to be going retrograde very, very soon, so we're kind of in the shadow stages of that. We're kind of leading up to that, and this can bring up a lot of stuff, so for the next three weeks, it's going to be pretty intense, and... This, again, is something to keep in mind, that it's all here for us to help us heal and to help us grow and to really show us our shadow sides and to show us what we can be working on and how we can love ourselves more and what patterns we want to break and all, and all these habits we want to get rid of and to remember that it is possible to do so and not to get too frustrated with ourselves or with others. You know, this is about just becoming aware of where you are and where you have been and where you want to go and just kind of taking inventory of where you are in your life. So that's going to be over the next three weeks and sometimes some really intense stuff can come up but feel free to email me at any time and you know we'll get through this together. So for the beginning of this week the message is a leadership. This is with Archangel Gabriel who's one of my main my main angels, my main men. I don't know if he's a man a man or not. That's a whole other video, you know. Um, some people actually think that Gabriel is more feminine and so they refer to Gabriel as a girl, but I also know people who refer to Gabriel as like a man, but as we know, 
this is just energy, so maybe a bit more female energy like I don't know even how to say that anyways it doesn't matter the message is leadership it's time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others and we all have the ability to do this this is something I also say a lot lately is that we're all teachers and students and we're all leaders and like I was saying when you take care of yourself you're basically putting yourself in a, in a leadership role because what you end up doing is inspiring people just by being yourself just by taking care of yourself and by doing your own thing and going with your flow and following your unique divine life path you are being a leader and you're inspiring others to do so and it's not about you know rushing to everybody's aid all the time and, and it's great to try to help people but you know what everyone you just have to trust and rest assured that they know what they're doing their soul knows where they need to go in this life and everyone else has access to their angels and to their guides too right so the best thing you can ever do is take care of yourself and to be a leader in that way and and set that example and basically act how you want to act be who you want to be and if there's something about yourself that bothers you just remember you can always change and and always become who you want to be you know you get to choose that every day in your actions in your words and this is what inspires people you know you have to just act in a way that you think is best for you and when you follow your own path you'd be really surprised at how many people that, that inspires when you're genuine um, because it's not about trying to be the best or be better than anybody you know we're all equal beings and this is just about being you and you really just shine when you are true to yourself even if you feel like you're really weird or that people won't understand you or anything like that when you are just yourself it's just the most inspiring thing I think so yeah lead by example and not just your words so that's just a reminder to you know keep keep that in mind for the middle of the week we have victory Woo this is with Archangel Sandalphon it says your prayers have been heard and answered have faith it's funny because both of these cards have trumpets. It's like some sort of big announcement or something. It's interesting. Uh, always something good to keep in mind because I know that when we go through tough times or when we go through these crazy new moons or full moons or Mercury retrogrades, you know, these really intense times, the energies are really, really intense right now. And it's okay to feel that. And it's really, really easy to get caught up in fear and to get discouraged and to be hard on yourself and to have your confidence just plummet right down you know and, and I've been going through this too it's really tough but this card is just a reminder rest assured you know your, your prayers are always being heard and they're always being answered and things are always being delivered to you by the universe so stay open to receiving abundance because it is flowing to you always and it, again like in ways that you won't always expect so it's not about overly planning and blueprinting and telling the universe how exactly they need to you know show up for you because the angels know how to, your angels know how to connect with you and they know how to catch your attention and they will do so you just have to trust in that and trust that you know you're being supported and you will get to where you need to go so keep in mind that it's great to focus on what you want to manifest and where you want to go and the goals you want to achieve but, you know, leave some space for the universe to work its magic because things will always come through for you in a way that you never expected. And it's always for the better. And for the weekend, we have Relationship Harmony. I love seeing this card. It's with Archangel Regul. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are now being resolved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. Same thing, I just read it backwards. This again has to do with Venus because things are starting to heal in that way and even though Mercury is going retrograde that may offset some travel or some I don't know like you may have to deal with certain things catching your attention within yourself or you know about your own patterns and habits and stuff like this but the good thing is that things are healing now and a lot of even though communication is often put off during Mercury retrograde and like you may have emails being sent back to you and sometimes it's really tricky 
I think we might have some help with Venus since Venus is going direct. So this weekend it really seems like the message is that there's going to be some sort of healing going on and that there's going to be some great communication with people. In Doreen's virtue for this week, she also picked up on this uh, for this weekend. And she used another deck of cards, of course. But the same kind of message that there, there may even be some sort of male energy or male like person be helpful to you and this is something that's trustworthy and there's some sort of healing going on in some sort of relationship this week and it may even be with the male energy that's within yourself since we all do have female and male energies within us so keep that in mind so you know this looks like a really really great week you're able to stand and be a leader just by being yourself. That's the most powerful thing you can ever do. And that really seems to be a huge message lately. Your prayers are being heard and they're being answered. So hang in there. I know it's a really tough time. There are lots of crazy energies right now. But, you know, you can always connect to Source, to Spirit, to God, to your angels, to whoever you want to refer to. You can, re you can definitely do that. And there seems to be a lot of relationship harmony right now thanks to Venus going direct. And there's just a lot of love around us right now. And an additional message for this week from our animal spirit guides is from the seagull and it says, now is the time for deep emotional healing. Ah, I uh, got a little bit of chills there. I've been getting chills lately from from spirit. But that's basically what, I, what I'm saying, you know, is, is there's lots of healing going on in terms of relationships and of course the root of all of our relationships stems from our relationship with ourselves. So there's just lots of healing going on and this will continue for the rest of the month with Mercury retrograde and this is perfect. And the seagull looks like it's flying over water. So like I said, it's kind of an emotional week. So that's really fitting. And yeah, so it looks like a pretty good week. Hang in there. Like I said, I know it's really intense some days more than others. And you know what? Things are going to be okay. It might be kind of an intense month, but there's also a lot of softness too, which helps to balance it out with Venus and that energy of helping us love ourselves more. So I don't think, I really don't think that this Mercury retrograde is going to be as bad or as intense as the last one we had. Um, personally, just because, like I said, we have the help of Venus that's going direct now, and which is just so filled with love and very feminine, gentle, nurturing energy. So I do think that's going to help out a lot this month. So keep that in mind. Have a fabulous week, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.